Hi, I'm Misha here, and it's time for another episode of Gun of the Day. And for no particular reason, I felt like bringing out my British Webley and Scott Mark V, chambered for 455 Webley. Or as American companies like Colton Smith and Wesson call it, 455 Ely. And the Mark V is an interesting gun. And this one is a gun I've had for quite a long time. The Mark V was made between 1913 and 1915. And it was really the first Webley 45 caliber to be built specifically and exclusively to fire smokeless powder. There had been previous versions that could fire smokeless, but they were derived from the older black powder versions and the Mark V would introduce quite a few upgrades to the steel and the configuration to fire the, the warmer smokeless powder rounds. That said, it has a lot of the old styling from the black powder military Webleys. For example, this very distinctive bird's head grip. It also has a relatively short barrel compared to later versions like the Mark VI. So in a lot of ways, it's kind of old meets new. Styling-wise, it's the old style, but construction and metallurgy-wise, thank you, it is the newer style. These were, of course, used early on in World War I, but then the Mark VI would replace it. And to be fair, the Mark VI has a lot going for it. For one thing, it was streamlined for mass production for wartime. It also had a longer barrel, and it had interchangeable front sights, so you could adjust for elevation a bit. And um, I got this gun on my birthday uh, about 15 years ago from a local gun shop that I frequented for a long time. It was my first Webley and my second break top. I had an Enfield number 2 Mark 1 before it which is in 38 200. So this is my first Webley in 455. And usually when you buy your first gun and it's something when you don't really know what you're looking at, you don't always get that lucky. But I feel like with this one, I did. It's just a really good example of a Mark V. Since then, I have picked up a Mark VI, but this one's still the one of the two. Plus, it just has a lot of personal history with me, having it with me for so long and through so many moves and things. And I just, I love the, the feel of the bird's head grip. The shape, the contour, how rounded it is. And I love the not quite snub nose barrel, but short barrel. Just everything about it. It definitely harkens back to that Imperial British thing. And actually the guy I bought this off of, the gun shop, over the years, he's routinely asked me if I was ready to sell it back. Quite seriously, he's he's kind of known for that. He especially with the British stuff, he'd sell stuff and then kind of want it back. But nope, it's still here. I don't own a ton of revolvers, but the ones I do tend to be pretty special to me. I tend to be pretty selective about the, uh, the revolvers I own, and that's really it. Still works. Hasn't been uh, shaved down to fire 45 ACP with moon clips, so uh, that's always a good thing. <laughs> and that's my uh, gun of the day. We've done full history videos, so if you like Webleys or British handguns, check those out. If you have any uh, questions or comments, please post them. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check out the link to our Patreon page. This is Misha. And I'll catch you very soon next time.